Right guys, hello Mark Crossfield here, got James Diamond as well, we've got a lovely sunny day, we're outside, we're going to do a little bit more golf fitness. Today we're going to talk a little bit about around the pelvis and hip area, trying to loosen that up, help you guys make some better golf swings. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, we're going to talk today with James here, we've got personal trainer James who's going to help us uh, understand what you can be doing a little bit more off course in between practice sessions to try and loosen up some certain areas to help you with your golf swing. So we're talking about common fault today that I see day in, day out, James. People moving on back swings more kind of this way to hit shots. Yep. So rather than, say, turning into the right side, okay. also they lose power on the back swings. Uh, so because they're not turning, maybe tight hips, those kind of things, what happens is they put sway in and lift and drop to try and generate some energy, some power. Right. So what could these kind of golfers be doing to loosen up this area? So when they come for the lesson and I say, right, let's get you turning into your right side a little bit more, for example, they physically can do it okay. rather than me just saying do something that they physically can't do. Yeah. What, could they, what could they be doing to help them at home? What normally happens when people have tight hip flexors, okay. they tend to have weak glutes. Right, yeah. So as this is tight, yeah. the rear side just relaxes and doesn't... So the front use. part here, the hip flexors are tight. Yeah and weak glutes, yeah. so they can't use those parts in the swing, so yeah. they're getting energy from other places. Your glutes are the most powerful, you need them for your golf swing, yeah, that's absolutely. where you need all your power from. Okay, so what kind so, of exercises can they be doing to strengthen and stabilise and get these areas activated? What we want to do is want to stretch the, the hip flexors. So Go what for we it. do, hip flexor stretch. The back leg is the one you're stretching. Okay. You want to put your front leg at about a 90 degree bend. Yeah. You're going to lean into it as far as you can go, so you're going to really feel a stretch in the yeah, back leg absolutely. here. absolutely. Keep your chest nice and high, shoulders back, and hold it there. Okay. You want to hold about 15 to 20 seconds, yeah. and a real nice stretch. If you want to increase this, you bring your arm up as well. Okay. Because the hip flexor runs up through the hip underneath your abs. Fantastic. So and they'll be doing this, this on both sides. They'll be yeah, doing reps both on both sides, sides basically. So switch over leg. Yeah. Like I say, 90 degree. Lean into it. Okay. Chest up, shoulders back. You can really back. see how that's stretching. Sorry, oh, James. Sorry. Stretching down that front portion there, which is going to help him get a lot more mobility in that area, basically. Yeah, you just free all this up. When Excellent. you first stand up, it just feels great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then we need to strengthen your glutes. So okay. a lot of people don't even activate these. They just yeah, they can't even feel them yeah, tense yeah, at all. So we're going to do something called a glute bridge. Glute so bridge. Down on the floor. Glute bridge. <laughs> Go for it. Feet are up close to your bum. Okay. Hands on the floor. Yeah. Head and shoulders on the floor. Okay. What you're going to do, you're going to drive through your heels and you're going to try and lift off the ground like this, up okay. into a straight line. There it is, the glute, the glute bridge. bridge. So I'm using my glutes here, yeah, really, really yeah, tense and that. activated. Yeah. And down. So you want to be like one or two seconds up and you want to hold for a couple of seconds. So you're really squeezing the glutes, contract okay. them hard. Yeah. And then down and relax. Fantastic. Good. So these are things people should be doing. What, how much a week do you reckon would you uh, advise? Three times a week. Three times a week, almost every other day. Yeah, we'll take a day's rest in between so you can recover. So these are things you should be doing at home to try and help you make the right movements when you go to your lessons with your pros. When they ask you to do certain movements, your body's going to have certain limitations. So the more you can do this kind of stuff as well, of course, the better you'll get at actually achieving some of these positions the golf pros are telling these guys to get into. Yeah, definitely. Me included. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, thanks James, it's really good. Exercises, more of these videos coming guys, let me know what you think. Post comments down below, if they're helping, are you using them, are you feeling a difference, love to hear. Post comments down below, and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.